So today Rod and I are going to be planting up our containers for our home as well as for the up north garden. Uh, this is probably going to end up being a five part series because we'll feature each of the different combinations that we're doing. A lot of the plants that we'll be using are the new for 2024 introductions from Proven Winners. Uh, so last night Rod and I spent some time here uh, la late last night just putting colors together. It was pretty dark so hopefully we'll see how we did as far as we have good color schemes or not. Still got that one over there. <laughs> hey, they can't all be what they you want. They can't all be perfect. No, right. No. no. So, so we're going to go ahead, take it step by step, talk to you about the different plants, the different locations we're planting these for, and talk about the aquapots as well that we're planting into. So. And it's time for you to get your hands dirty. Um, I will, unless if you want to speak, which you don't do well. This is the, nope, I guess not. So. So we'll go ahead and let you get your hands dirty. I'll talk about the plants and yeah, we'll, we'll show you what we got that we'll be doing here today, creating masterpieces. There you go. All right, let's dig in. All right, so the first thing we're gonna be planting up here is this giant aqua pot. This one is one of two that we'll have matching and that's gonna go on either side of our garage. Uh, every year, this is kind of always the pot that I put the new introductions in. That way I can watch them every day as I pull in the driveway, I can see how the plants are doing. So we're going to start off with our thriller, which actually is just a palm tree, uh, a cat palm. Looks like it's going to be a two person job here. Remember, I said you're going to get dirty. I don't have a problem getting dirty. Oh, wow, that's quite a rut system. So this is a cat palm. Uh, the light situation is high light. Likes to be watered when the soil gets dry medium growth, growth rate, so it's not going to get that tall, which we really don't anticipate it to get tall. So it's pretty root bound, so Rod's going to go ahead and just kind of chop up the roots a little bit there at the bottom so that it can spread its wings and fly once it gets planted. So is there a reason why you're trapping them, Rod? I mean... I want to make sure they, like you said, they start rooting out. I mean... Some people will say I shouldn't do this, but I want to make sure it just continues to grow and doesn't just become root bound and not root down into the aqua pot. Right. So just get some of that thick bottom roots cut and removed. If I had a knife, it would probably would be a little easier, but. That'll do the trick. All right, so that will go in the center of the pot and then we're going to plant around it. So I have my catalog to reference because I want to make sure I get the names right of these plants. I don't have plant tags to look at, so the catalog is the best that we have here to go after. Oh, with the names. So last night we pre-filled these aqua pots with soil. And... Um, now the center is planted. Now we're just going to start around the edges, right? Yeah, let's go around the edges. So just kind of show the plant and then I'll tell you the name of it. So this gets this planted. This, this is going to be your front. Is that the way you want it to look? Yes. So we'll put the aquapot little tag thing in the front because if I'm guessing it's on the, the, side drain, here. the drain hole is back here. Right, right here. Right, but the, the drain oh. overflow hole is here, so that's on the back of the pot. Correct. And then you got your fill tube on that side because that'll be the side that'll face the driveway. Easiest to water for us. Yep, you'll remember that's where, where you need to do it. So yeah, the, always when you fill these aqua pots, make sure you match where the, you know where the drain hole is, or make sure you know where your fill tube is. Because after once all these plants are growing, you're like, Kind of digging trying through. to find so yeah. that's where i put the plaque in the front the aqua pot plaque in the front and i'm right off to the right yeah all right so the first plant yeah there's a sweet potato vine that is uh also known as a epimea and that one is goodness gracious is it in the book you can go ahead and plant it if you want to start i thought you were the one speaking and i was the one planting. well i'm speaking but you got to be able to find things I'm planted, next plant. There it is, all right. That is the Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Mano Mahogany. Mahogany. Which has nice red undertones. And that's a trailing plant, gonna trail over. The next one you have there is the Supertunia that is called, 
Yellow. Doo -doo -doo. Yellow, the obvious. That is Supertunia Saffron Finch. So that too is gonna be a great plant that will kind of fill out the top and spill over the side of the pot. I love this new Saffron Finch. That is a gorgeous yellow color. When you say it's one of the best Supertunia color, yellow colors that they have? That I've seen, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And then the next one, I know that one, that's the Bermuda Beach Improved. And that plant, that flower color is very much an improvement. Why don't you say it's more vibrant, bold, that's a great improvement. Like that's an obvious improvement for the Supertunias. Um, next is a purple one, and that's a Mini Vista. That is Mini Vista Ultramarine. So that's gonna also be a nice trailer over the side of the pot. And I thought the yellow, the pink, and the purple looked really nice together. And then we did put the Coleus in. That is uh, Cherry Drop, which is part of the Chocolate Drop and Strawberry Drop family. So that's going to also be a trailer. We'll see how it does. It might get kind of swallowed up by all the petunias. Um, but I thought it was a good way we could add it in. And then basically, we're just going to repeat that pattern around with the exception of the Scavola Whirlwind White, which has been improved this year. And we'll just put that one in the back of the pot just to add a little sprinkle of white into the planter. So basically, now I'm just going around the back side. And Same. Just, yeah, repeating the pattern. Are we symmetrical height or no? Um, it's fairly symmetrical. Yes, yeah, symmetry. Are, we, are is, we symmetrical people? Yeah, uh, symmetry is very important when it comes to planting up our planters. It's, it's really hard for me not to be symmetrical when I'm helping others because, uh, uh, but depends what you're doing too, you know. But yeah, symmetrical is definitely in my world. Okay, so we do need a few more plants in there. So you do, do how have do we wanna, some more room. Um, how do you wanna redo that? Well, so what he means by we need a few more plants, he's planting these things like packed tight. There's no space, no well, room. Well, it's June next week. I, I gotta know. have flour. Instant, right. So yeah, we could go see if we could find maybe some more white. Do you want to do well, you got well, the white no, scavolia that's here. Yeah, right. But I think we need to add a little bit more white. There is a new white double um, super bells. Yeah, we could we're put... using it over there, but we can do that. Yeah, let's go find that white. Do you want white... another scavolia? Or you're going to have white already. Right. But the scavola has got very small petals. So if we do that super bells, let's go grab right. one. Yeah, or I bet. Or you want to move here. it around, go this way. Yeah, let's move that one back just a little bit that way. Because so yeah, so let's move the super tunies to the back because they'll be a little bit more aggressive, I think, than what the double white super bells will be. So if we kind of so want to move the coleus, coleus back, back. Just, yeah, move that back just a touch, and then just yeah. put the white here. Yeah, and that kind of it just adds a I don't know a poke of brightness I think to the container as well. Okay, yeah, so, so that'll look good. basically the only thing I really have to do is I'm going to add some soil in there in a little while. Yeah, get it um, back up. But, and then fill it back up a little bit. But that's, that's the look we're going for. Yeah, I think that'll be good. So this is a westward facing pot. So it's going to get sun from about noon until sundown. Uh, and all the plants that we use can handle, that would be a full sun uh, type location. So... Yeah, so you'll fill it up with some soil just to fill in the gaps, and then we'll water from the top down the first couple times. Yes. Uh, that way it saturates all the soil, so that way when we fill the bottom of the aqua pot, it will wick up. Um, also, we'll sprinkle some of the um, Proven Winter slow release. slow release in the top, just kind of top dress it with that. And yep. then when you fill the tube um, and fill the bottom reservoir, we'll dump a few scoops of the water-soluble fertilizer in there, too. Correct. And what do you say, every two weeks or so? As you, you refill this about every week, every well, five to seven days with water. Usually every time I uh, fill it, I add some um, some of the slow water, soluble. water, water soluble down in there. Yeah, yep. okay, good. So yeah, so I think this one will be ready to go once you get the soil and the fertilizer just top dressed in there. So yeah, excited to see how this does, the new 2024 Proven Winter Varieties uh, in this aquapot. Thanks for watching. I'm Heidi and Rod from Garden Crossings.